We're a little over a month away until cars and trucks are on track at Daytona, and we have a few driver announcements. Most of the big teams and big drivers already have all of their announcements made, their lineups are set, they're ready for Daytona, cars are getting prepped, but there's still a number of teams out there that have yet to announce their full-time driver lineup, their part-time driver lineup, and some drivers that are going to be doing some double duty at times. This past week we had a couple of announcements, and we had a big one in the truck series. Spire Motorsports announced that Chase Purdy would be joining them in 2024, driving the number 77 truck. Of course, Spire Motorsports purchased Kyle Busch Motorsports, who Chase Purdy raced for last year. And I kind of think about it the same way that like in office space where you have to go in front of the two bobs and tell them what you do here. I assume Chase had to do the same thing and they liked what he did there because they went ahead and signed him for the 2024 season. Of course, bringing a check doesn't hurt as well, but Chase Purdy did have a career year in 2023. He had three top five finishes, 11 top tens, contended for a win, and I think that's his goal for 2024, is to win a race and try to make a run into the playoffs. I don't think it's a bad signing by Spire. It provides stabilization for the company because, of course, he already has been there. They've worked with him before. Most of the people have, at least. And he's a guy that can go out there and get you decent results more often than not. So overall, I think that's a great sign. Spire still has at least one truck announcement uh, to come that I'm aware of, and maybe a third one as well. We'll see what happens as we get closer to the season. In the Xfinity Series, we have two announcements that were made. The first being that we have a new Xfinity Series team full-time in 2024. Young's Motorsports, a mainstay of the truck series for the past few years, as they've won truck races and they've been around there for a while, will be fielding a full-time Xfinity car in 2024 for Leland Honeyman. The 18-year-old, 19-year-old driver in 2024 will be making his first full-time Xfinity Series season start. And it's a first for both of them. There's going to be growing pains, of course, right? Like, Leland has never done a full Xfinity Series before. Young's Motorsports, never done a full Xfinity Series season before. So the two of them are going to have to grow together. I think it's a solid partnership, right? Leland has had a handful of starts in both the truck and Xfinity series. Nothing really to write home about, although I will say in his eight Xfinity series starts last year, his average start and average finish were basically the same number, which is good. You never want to see your average finish be below your average start. Ideally, you want to see it be in front of it, but if they're basically the same, at least he's not in a position to net lose positions. So that's maybe not the worst thing out there, and we'll see what he can do in his first full-time season in the Xfinity series. So welcome them to the series. They'll also be fielding their trucks uh, next season, or technically this season as well. That calendar change of 2024 is still catching me off guard. We also had another Xfinity Series announcement as well. Josh Balicki will be returning to DGM in 2024. He raced there on a part-time basis in 2023, driving the number 91 car. He'll return on a part-time basis in 2024, driving the number 92 car, the seat that was vacated by Josh Williams when he went over to Kyle Gracing full-time for the 2024 season. Balicki did get a top 10 finish last year for the team at Road America, and there's no reason to think that he can't do the same this year. DGM always provides pretty strong cars at super speedways and definitely on road courses, so Balicki racking off another top 10, maybe two, isn't out of the question. Now, those are the announcements that we've had for this past week. There are going to be a few more that roll out potentially next week and then the week prior, or after, rather. Not prior, because that's the one we were just in. Next week, I've heard we could hear about a driver doing some double duty action in 2024. Uh, potentially with an Xfinity Series program. I know it's an Xfinity Series program, but we'll wait for them to announce it uh, on their end. We also know that there's a Matt Benedetto announcement coming. It is not going to be AM Racing, regardless of what you've read on the internet. It will be, from what I've heard, a Cup Series ride on a part-time basis, of course. Uh, whether that's a chartered car, considering there's only two chartered cars out there that don't technically have drivers yet, I have heard that the number 16 car at Colleg has already spoken for in terms of their driver lineup. That leaves the Rick Ware number 15 car, or potentially an open car running on a part-time basis. Um, still working to figure out where he's exactly going, but it is a Cup deal from what I've heard. On the other hand, Moving on to other things that are out there, Roger Carruth has still yet to announce what his 2024 plans are. Fully expect that to be a truck series program, likely with people that he's worked with before. Uh, obviously his team GMS shut down, but seeing him land at Rev Racing slash Spire would not be a shock to me. We'll see what happens there. Outside of that, Marco Andretti's name is still floating around on where he could possibly end up at partial schedule in the truck series for Spire, maybe a full-time schedule for Spire in the truck series. Not really sure what his full plans are yet, but he will be at least participating in the ARCA test at Daytona in a couple of weeks, along with Shane Van Gisbergen as well. 
We're also still waiting to hear what Frankie Muniz's plans are for 2024. It seemed like he might end up over at a Ford affiliated team, maybe with like RSS or somebody like that. That hasn't happened. I have heard that we'll hear soon, but that's kind of just been the ongoing uh, ongoing statement coming out of his campus soon, soon, everything's soon. Uh, so we'll see where he ends up at. Uh, if he returns, he's not going to return for a full-time ARCA series season because the sponsorship model just doesn't necessarily work. Uh, so that doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, I, I do fully expect to see him in trucks or possibly some extended starts in 2024 as well. I'll have to just wait and see on that because there's not a lot of options left out there. We're still waiting to hear what the lineup is going to be for SS Greenlight Racing. JD Motorsports still has a few announcements to make there, or at least that'll probably be an ongoing throughout the season thing. But they currently don't have a driver lineup completely set. So that's possible landing spots for somebody like Frankie or other drivers that bring a little bit of funding along uh, with them. Over in the truck series, most of the seats are already spoken for, but there is still like a couple of decent seats out there. Of course, there are the Spire seats, one, possibly two seats over there that have yet to be accounted for, but also a team like HRE, Hattori. They don't have a driver lineup announced for their number 16 car, or even the 61 if they're going to run a two car program again, or truck rather. So that's interesting. Who could end up there possibly? I wouldn't be shocked to see like a pay driver come in and take that position because that's kind of just been their MO in recent years. But a guy like Brett Moffat is still out there as well. And Brett Moffat hasn't exactly made life easy for himself in terms of uh, driver relationship with teams. So it's not a shock to see that he's still a free agent, but it would be sh shocking to see him not show up at Daytona in somebody's ride, at least. So we'll keep waiting around for more driver announcements to come, but Cup Cars will be on track in a little less than a month at the LA Coliseum. Hopefully we see you guys there, trying to figure out my travel plans for that. But... Let me know in the comments where you think some of these guys are going to end up at, or if you like the signing by Spire, or, you know, um, Young's Motorsport going full-time, or even Josh Balicki joining DGM. Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok, at BreakHard, Instagram, and Twitter, at BreakHardBlog.